Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we have a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting with this one, our current Mr. Olympia champion Big Remy posting another video of himself posing, yes, you heard it right, another one. I know, it's weird, Big Remy never posts anything basically, but in the last couple of weeks he gave us a couple of physique updates since his prep has started and does he look better in this one than the previous one? Is he improving? Is he really gonna bring something we never saw before as his coach Chad Nichols is claiming I don't know I can't tell I'm not sure maybe maybe because the previous video was under more flattering lighting this lighting is not as good but I think you can see some striations pay attention to his chest when he starts flexing it I think the skin texture changed slightly i think he's i think he lowered his body fat percent a little bit and i think there is a lot of time for him to get shredded so he doesn't have to be shredded right now he is definitely lean enough and check out his waistline check out his stomach he has great abdominal control and his waist actually looks very very small and he was basically known for having a really small waist, but in the past couple of years, his waist has gotten a little bit thicker. It was smaller back in the day. For example, 2017 Mr. Olympia, where Remy placed second, and of course, Phil was much better in all areas, except for that one, the waist size. As you can see, Remy exposed Phil Heath's gut, and the next year, Phil Heath lost to Sean Roden, but as you can see, Big Remy had a really tiny waist back then, and I don't think that's really the case these days. Here are a couple of photos of Big Remy from 2015 Arnold Classic Brazil, which is one of my favorite editions of Big Remy, and I don't really know if he made any progress since then, or just the competition has gotten weaker. Anyways, here is another photo of Big Remy from 2016 Arnold Classic Europe, where he also looked amazing, probably one of his best looks of all time. He did not win, however, Dexter won. Look at Dexter, he looked amazing. Even though Big Remy was much bigger, Dexter was just sharper, more complete. Take a look at his back double bicep. Definitely Dexter all day long. Now, Big Remy, if you take a look at him, you gotta notice that he didn't really improve that much. His conditioning or his muscularity, it was all pretty much similar to what we see today. Okay, I gotta give it to him, 2020 Mr. Olympia, he was a little bit sharper than usual, but that was one year only, last year he was back in his pretty much old shape that he always used to bring, and honestly, I feel like last year it wasn't such a clear victory, because he wasn't in crazy shape, and I feel like if he doesn't bring great level of conditioning this year, they're probably not gonna give it to him again. You remember Jay Cutler, so he won the Mr. Olympia in 2006, he looked great, next year 2007 he probably looked worse than Victor Martinez, but they gave it to him anyways. Third year he failed with conditioning again and they took it away from him, later he got it back, but if Big Remy doesn't bring great conditioning this year, he's gonna lose the title. And the other thing, aside from conditioning, is that waistline. The other guys in that top call out at the Mr. Olympia have smaller waistlines, most of them. And now we have Andrew Jack in the mix as well. And Big Remy, he doesn't have a big waist. He has actually a small waist, but it has gotten thicker over the years. And I feel like he realized that and now he's trying to make his waist even smaller to create an illusion somehow of a small waist, which will definitely help him a lot. Maybe he's practicing vacuums, maybe he's straining his abs differently, maybe he's just posing differently, but in this video his conditioning and muscularity look great and his waist also looks good, it looks better. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. Subscribing to this channel and liking the video really helps out a lot, but if you want to do more than that, you can try one of the old school lab supplements, for example, Vintage Brawn. Honestly, guys, this is the best quality, the best tasting protein powder I ever tried. And it's not a simple whey protein, it's also beef protein and egg white protein, so it's a complete chain of amino acids. And again, it tastes amazing. So guys, if you want to try it out, Vintage Brawn, there is a link down below, and you get a 15% discount if you use the code EVAN. In his last update, Remy said that he was 336 pounds and Samson Daura has gotten up to 330 pounds. 
That was his goal when this prep started this offseason. His goal was to get a 330, and he thought it was pretty much impossible. But they got there, him and his coach, of course, Milo Sharchev. And Samson Daura is bigger than ever. His biggest, his heaviest ever was around 310. He spoke about this on a podcast, but now he gained 20 pounds. And check out his conditioning, he's actually very lean. Look at the veins on his arms, look at the abs. All of his abs are pretty much visible. His quads are also very lean, his hamstrings, even his glutes. This guy is a freaking monster right now. He reminds me of Brandon Curry, that kind of size with much, much bigger legs. So I wouldn't be surprised if I saw this guy in the top six of the Mr. Olympia. I'm just not so sure what his back is gonna look like i am sure he improved it but is it gonna be good enough i don't know about that so that's the only problem that this guy has back and let's say his entire back pose because his glutes never get lean they never get straight and for some strange reason i gotta say strange reason because everything else is lean everything else is shredded his body fat percent is really low because everything on his body is peeled look at his hamstrings look at his lower back he he has no fat, his glutes only don't have separation, I don't know if that is uh, his body storing all the fat in that area, or is he like holding water in that area, or maybe his uh, skin texture is like that, he has really thick skin on his glutes, or it could be just muscularity issue. And he said that he was working hard on this in this offseason. And the training his glutes directly is definitely gonna help. I'm sure about that. So if he increases the muscle mass in those glutes, more muscle means less fat is gonna be stored in that area. It's usually like that. The body parts where you don't have a lot of muscle don't get that hard. And if he brings up the muscle in that area, he probably will get those separation in his glutes. I'm not sure what kind of glute work he's doing, but he said in a podcast that he's really trying to improve that. I hope it will work. I'm a big fan of Samson because he is kind of like a classic bodybuilder. I mean, he has classic lines and that's it. Nothing else is classic about this guy because he is an absolute mess monster. He's going to be one of the biggest guys on that Mr. Olympia stage. So this is a pure definition of mess with class. Now, he gained a lot of, a lot of weight and it's quite quality weight as you can see he's lean and he's about 20 pounds heavier than he ever was but i don't think he will simply be 20 pounds heavier on the stage than he was at the arnold you know usually this kind of weight that you gain after the show like immediately he didn't have a lot of time to keep that weight to stay at that weight so it will probably go away quickly and i'm sure he built it up with a lot of insulin so a lot of it is water, obviously not a lot of it is fat, I'm sure a part of it is muscle and he will look better on that stage, he will be bigger and I'm sure more conditioned or just as conditioned as he needs to be, I just hope his glutes are gonna be lean enough and I can't wait to see this guy on stage, again he has those classic lines, he knows how to pose and I really feel like this year is going to be Samson's year, what do you guys think? Quite soon, we will see James Hollingshead hit the stage again, and this time around, he's gonna be battling Andrew Jacked. I'm really excited to see that battle, it's going to be amazing, at the Arnold Classic UK in about 5 weeks from now, and this is James right now, he looks insane, look at this! He looks crazy right now, he looks really lean and humongous, he looks really freaking big. Now I saw this posing video on James Hollingshead YouTube channel, it's a great video overall, it's a push day and posing session, it's just him training like a, like a maniac, hardcore training, without any musing, you listen to the weights clinging, it's a great video, once again check out his channel, but what I'm seeing right here looks really freaking impressive. Take a look at his front double bicep, it's insane. I feel like we're gonna see James Collinsett at his absolute best ever. He's doing this prep alone, actually, without a coach. And when I heard this, I was kind of worried. I thought, is he gonna be able to get in shape without a coach? How is that gonna work out? But I think it's working out just fine, because look at him. At 5 weeks out, his conditioning is amazing. And I gotta say, it looks like he didn't lose... I don't even want to use ounces, I gotta say, he didn't lose a gram of muscle, because he probably even gained some muscle in the process. 
he looks leaner, much, much leaner and harder, but while he was losing the fat, he did not lose any freaking muscle because he's enormous right now. And I think people are underrating James right now because, as they say, you're only as good as your last show. And his last show was Mr. Olympia, and that showing was not very good. He failed miserably at that show. He looked horrible, honestly. That, that's, that's just what he looked like compared to his previous versions. And I think this year, the Arnold Classic, we're going to witness something completely different. Take a look at his guy's back, take a look at the chest thickness, take a look at the side leg, he has so much muscle, so much grainy muscle, and he knows how to come in shredded, he's already pretty much lean, he's gonna get of course much leaner as the time goes on, but I think he's going to be at his biggest, at his best combination of size and conditioning, and I think it's going to be a package that will actually challenge and reject. I think it's going to be an amazing battle. These guys are going to be battling it out. I think James is really going to push and reject. I don't really see him beating Andrew, but he's gonna give him a run for his money. Take a look at the glutes and the hamstrings. So the shape is there pretty much. He is very conditioned for this point in time and he is massive. Once he shaves this, this man fur, it's gonna look much better. And once he gets some tan too, because he's really pale, that's all gonna look so much better. And I can't wait to see him on stage to see what kind of improvements he actually made because it looks like he grew so much. And that back, he doesn't have the best back insertions, but look at the, look at that uh, chest to back thickness. Like he's really thick. His this pose also looks amazing. So his conditioning is spot on for this point in time. His muscularity is just absolutely ridiculous. Look at the traps here. Look at the shoulders. Look at the legs. So James Hollister is definitely gonna give us a great show at the Arnold Classic UK. He is definitely gonna push Andrew Jack to his limits. I don't know if he actually has it in him to beat Andrew Jack, but he's definitely gonna give him a run for his money. What do you guys think? Do you think James has any chance against? Andrew Jacked, and do you think this is going to be the best James we ever saw? Because I'm pretty convinced it will be. Look at him, look at this freaking fullness and hardness and everything. Wow, what a physique, what a freak. Maybe he doesn't have Andrew's aesthetics, shape and stuff like that, but he has this crazy hard and grainy looking muscle and all this mass. It's gonna be something like Brent Warren versus Victor Martinez and it's definitely gonna make a great comparison. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, and I gotta mention this, it's Derek Lansford with a new physique update, as you can see he looks lean and big and everything looks great, but the caption is uh, what I found interesting here, he says, new day, new week, same goal, same effort, always 100%, and then he says, hashtag 212, Mr. Olympia, does this mean that he's gonna be doing 212 this year, or does this mean that he won the 212 Mr. Olympia, that he is the 212 Mr. Olympia, and he's just reminding us of that? It could mean both things. He didn't want to go into specifics, so we don't know what his plans are, if he's gonna do the opener 212. Here is another photo, and you know what I think? I think he, he can win the Mr. Olympia in 212 if he can bring the weight down. And he, right now, he's 250, which is... 10 pounds less than he was like a month or two ago, so it looks like he might be trying to lose that muscle to get in the 212, because, you know, if he does the open, can he really win? Can he win against Hadi? Can he win against Rami? Can he beat guys like Andrew Jack, who are absolutely gonna dwarf him? like uh, Nick Walker, who is also much bigger, Hunter Labrada, there is a lot of guys, and Derek might place as low as like 6, 7, 8, and does he want that, or does he want a win, another win in 212? I mean, Flex Lewis won 7 to 12 Mr. Olympia titles, and he is sort of considered one of the greatest bodybuilders, and he knew there was basically no chance of him defeating Phil Heath, because Phil Heath was dominating at the same time while Flex was dominating in his division, and right now, Derek is in a similar situation. He needs to lose muscle to get in 212, but if he does that, he's pretty much unbeatable in that division. I don't think Sean Clarida can actually beat him, I don't think any of those guys can challenge 
punch Derek Lansford. If he's in shape and he makes the weight, he's winning that 212 Mr. Olympia title. And I think he would probably rather do that than do the Open. But it's actually questionable if he can even make the weight this year because he is 250, 260 and very, very lean. So he would have to sacrifice a whole bunch of muscle. And I'm pretty sure he's willing to do that. But can he even do it? That's also a question. I don't know what his plans are. I hope he's going to announce something soon. And as soon as he does, I will let you guys know. But this is it for now. Oh, and another thing. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I changed my YouTube avatar. This guy, his Instagram name is Jagged Brother, did this drawing for me. Please check his profile out, guys. He has done some great drawings of other bodybuilders, so he did this for me. And I will use it for my avatar because I love it. And because it was done by a fan of the channel. This is a photo that he took. It's a photo of me when I won my classic bodybuilding overall title last year. And uh, I love this drawing. I, I gotta say, I love it. So check out Jagged Brother on IG. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up once again. Subscribe to the channel please and uh, thank you so much for watching all the best guys and bye bye